everybody so i'm asked a lot like mike what is the best time to get in what's uh, what's your criteria i tend to like breakouts myself more than pullbacks from time to time that i do it it really depends on the market it depends if i already have a position on or not so i thought i was looking at this one chart this morning and i thought it might make sense to go over it with you and it's of a chart that we all know very very well called ebay so let's take a look at it and as you can see, you might be anchoring, right? You're like, oh, I can't get in. I missed the move. It was all the way down here at 38. Now it's 52. I've missed it. So now, you know, I can't get, I can't participate. And so that's how I thought at the beginning of my career too. I was like, man, I missed the move. But when I think about what's going on here in the chart, I'm not looking at it the way you're looking at it. I'm saying, okay, somebody created, you know, a chart here. And I can't look at the, uh, show the source. So there's HTML and JavaScript that basically creates this framework for the data for the open, high, low, close, candles, what's the volume on the bottom, the price, this and that. And so, so much of the opinions of what to do are determined by, you know, things that are largely innocuous. So yes, if you did look here and see that, that it was low, here we in the top right corner making a six-month high, here we're making a 12 you know, a one-year high um, still on the daily chart, you're like, man, did I miss it or is it just getting started? So what's interesting enough is when you back it out even further, you can kind of see something on the weeklies. And this is something that I do quite a bit is to look at how are things moving on the weekly charts because the data are less random, right? Because now each bar here consists of Monday through Friday. Whereas if you start to look and even like downtiming it and you look in intraday, you know, okay, great. You could have caught the by the open, you know, blah, 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 and figure out where you're going to kind of get in over the course. Some guys don't like to trade the opening ranges. They like to wait. But I can, you can get a lot of good data. Whereas if you look at the six, the six month, right, you're like, man, I missed the move. We're trading at now 52 week highs on eBay. Obviously, it's a company that everybody knows. But when you go back out far enough, even the three or the five year, and you start to see where are things on the weekly, you know, you have a weekly breakout here. Now, this is, you're watching this on Thursday. I'm recording this, you know, with about two hours to go uh, in the trading day uh, yesterday, meaning Wednesday. But I'm telling you that the weekly breakouts are less random. So despite what you might see on the six month, it looks like you missed it. When you look at it at the three year on a weekly chart, the thing's just getting started. So it gives you a different sense of context. And that can mean a lot for how you want to enter trades and how much risk you want to put on. Where does the thing break out and go to? I don't know any more than you do. But here's an observable it's for two weeks back in, you know, the fall in Q4, I guess that would have been of 2021. Okay, we were up at 80 bucks a share. So who, I don't know, you know, all I know is it, right now it's around 50, it's 80, that's 30, there's a 60% rate of return potential on a name, you know, that's breaking out, whereas if you looked at it here, you're like, I got to pass because I missed it, the gap's going to get filled. No, it doesn't, gaps don't have to get filled at all. So you could figure out what your criteria are, you don't have to go in all at once and buy your exact optimum position, you can nibble, take a piece if you, you look at the five-day simple moving average, maybe you buy pullbacks, look for the retracement, just realize that, you know, sometimes there aren't any pullbacks. So there is no, there is not necessarily a retracement to have. So when you're in doubt about what you're looking at, you know, think about up, up timing the charts. Down timing makes the data more random, right? And you can kind of see things if you're desperate to put on a trade, especially if your account's underfunded and you're looking at stock index futures, if you downtime and keep changing the time frame, you're bound to find something that might look bullish or that might warrant you to, you know, put on a trade. But at the time, if you can uptime it and look at the weeklies or the monthlies, sometimes that can give you the bigger picture and that can make, you know, all the difference in your trading to find high quality setups. If you like this video, check out this one right here.